Well, this is a tutorial about chickens and penguins and iPods. Well, no, not really. It's not that kind of tutorial. But there's my chicken, my penguin, and my trash can. You gotta love my trash can. So anyway, uh, this is a tutorial actually on how to use the Black Magic Intensity Pro capture card. Now, this is an internal capture card. Works with PCI Express, <coughs> and uh, it will not work with laptops unless they have PCI Express. And I don't know very many laptops that do. <laughs> So, uh, but yeah, uh, for those of you who, like, are afraid of black magic on it, don't, I don't know, you paranoid people, just get over it, it's a capture card. Anyway, uh, this is a box, it's about the size of the box, it's like that size of my hand, and yes, I have really bony fingers, and just don't bother me about it, but <laughs> it doesn't matter, I've had them my entire life, but who cares. So anyway, it's about that size, just to give you kind of a reference. And uh, around the back of it has some more information, the sides have some more information, and just tells you about it. And the bottom has a barcode of the serial number, which I'm going to keep hidden. Now anyway, when you open the box, you're going to get this kind of card in it. And this is an... I thought this was actually pretty cool that they gave you this card. Like, most things that you buy for 200 bucks give you a floppy piece of paper and just tell you welcome on it. But this actually gives you a card. And it's got... Thanks for choosing us, pretty much. It's got uh, links to software manuals and support. Now the links are, uh, well, you're obviously going to have to type them in, but uh, next to that, you should get this thing that says software manual, and in it should be a CD, which you should be able to see there, but I would not recommend using the CD, except for the manuals, because everything is updated on their website, and I would really recommend going to their website for everything first before you like don't install stuff on the CD install from their website also if you get the pro version um, I believe there are two versions at least last time I checked there are two versions one was just intensity and I think it still had pro on the name but it didn't come with the breaker cable and this one is intensity pro and it comes with the breaker cable now the one without the breaker cable I think is fifty dollars hundred and fifty dollars instead of two hundred this one's two hundred and if you want to record uh, all three major consoles, the PlayStation 3, the Wii, and the 360, then you're going to want to get the Pro version because even though it has HDMI input and output, that will only work for the 360 because Wii doesn't have HDMI, I don't think, and the PlayStation 3's HDMI uh, does not get be is not detected by this because the Wii, uh, PlayStation 3 exports in like a HDCP signal instead of HDMI, I think, so... Uh, you're only going to be able to use HDMI for the 360. Now, if you only have a 360, go ahead and get the one version without the breaker cable. And the breaker cable is this. Got uh, It has component inputs and outputs, and this black cable, which is a, what's the label say? AES slash EBU out, so I'm not really sure what that's for. I don't really care either because I'm not going to be using it. But I'm going to be focusing on these, and this is component inputs and outputs. And, of course, you're going to want to pay attention to the labels, and it tells you there, audio in left, and then 4Y out, which is blue one, no, green one. Anyway, sorry, I'm partially colorblind, so I can't tell too good, but too easily, bad grammar. But anyway, uh, right here is uh, another cable, I'm keeping it in the bag, because I'm never going to use it. Now, of course, the more important thing is the capture card itself. <clears throat> now, it comes in this kind of different looking bag but it is in <coughs> oh, sorry it is an uh, let me say it again it is an anti-static bag and it is very important if you have to send it back because it doesn't work so uh, I would keep the bag and uh, do not take the thing off or out of the bag until you're ready to put it in your computer and when you do take it out don't touch those uh, connectors because if you do it I really doubt it can mess up completely like, terribly but it can mess up with the connections which can mess up with quality and uh, just the way the capture card works so uh, don't don't touch those gold connectors if you do by mistake clean it off with a rag I'm guessing but uh, <clears throat> when you do take it out you'll see right there's HDMI in there's out there's a, that a fingerprint no oh, no <laughs> sorry anyway HDMI in HDMI out and then the breaker cable will port for it I guess now this Breaker cable ports so are I'm going to be paying attention to the most because I'm not going to be using HDMI in or out. And I don't know if it's a good idea to slide that across the carpet, but oh well, if it breaks, sucks for me. 
Now, I would also have to recommend picking up one of these if you're going to be capturing from all three consoles. Basically what it is was like a $15 Energizer Universal component cable. And it has component signals here, which are the analog signals instead of digital, which HDMI is digital. And it's got connectors to 360, the Wii, and the PlayStation 3. Now this is like $15, it was by Energizer, and so far Energizer third, for third party items have done pretty good. And uh, if you want to buy... If you want to buy um, the actual component cables from the companies, you can, but, you know, that's easier because you don't have to replace cables to the breaker cable. Now, pretty much for a basic setup, which I will be getting into later, is that you're going to be putting these cables to the input on the breaker. They're then you're going to be putting another set of component cables, which I have over here. Here's the component video and here's the audio cables. You're going to be putting another set of these cables into the output so you can record on your computer and play on your TV at the same time. Now, the uh, there's very, very, very little lag when play, uh, record for the, uh, for the preview screen in the Blackmagic Media Express program, which I'll be getting more into later. There's very little lag compared to other capture cards I've used, but it's still better just to play on the big screen instead of a little preview window, I think especially if you're going to be doing multiplayer videos, but that's just what you want to choose to do. So anyway, these are 12 foot cables, I think, and I have no clue how much they work because my dad bought them for me. And they have gold connectors, but really $3 cables will work. So you're going to want component cables and audio cables. And audio is the uh, white and red, component is the blue, green, and red. And you might be able to find them where they're all in one, but mine are separated, and I just have to look at that. So. Uh, for also another basic setup, uh, and once you put those cables in here, you put it into the black magic. Black magic goes into your computer, and you're ready to record. So, anyway, if you are ready to do the setup, I mean, if you're so another basic setup is if you're going to be playing for the 360, you'd want to put the 360 HDMI cable into there, then put the other another HDMI cable into the output, which is right there, and the other end of that to your TV. Which I'll be getting more into later, as I keep saying, but uh, for this part, it's just pretty much the basic part of it. Now, um, there is another capture card if you don't have a desktop of PCI Express. It's called the Hapage HD PVR, and I have to say I hate this card because right now it's 200 bucks down the drain. And I'm never getting it back because they only have a 30 day warranty, and after those, you can only send it in to get it fixed. You cannot get your money back, which really annoys me because mine didn't really work right from the beginning. But uh, that's an external capture card and I will not be getting into that because I honestly would not recommend it if you can go with Black Magic. And Black Magic's a little bit cheaper, I think. So uh, that's what I'll be doing. But yeah, this is a uh, basic parts of the Black Magic capture card. So the uh, next video will be uh, how to set it up, put it in a computer, and uh, after that it'll be software and everything. So. See you then, I guess.